Hello friends, I am Sujoy and today I will show you how to boost your network speed of convergence and how to increase your network uptime using rapid spanning tree protocol with practical implementation. Also, I will give you an introduction to the spanning tree protocol and rapid spanning tree protocol. So let's start. So what is STP? STP or spanning tree protocol is a layer 2 or data link layer protocol on mechanism to prevent looping in a layer 2 internet work. So what is loop? Let's look at the scenario. Here we have one PC with the IP 192.168.1.2 and one FTP server with the IP 192.168.1.1. Now if the PC sends some data to the FTP server, what will happen? The data from the PC will come to switch 4, switch 4 will forward to switch 3, then switch 3 will forward to switch 1. And the data should come this way to the FTP server. But by mistake, instead of going this way, if the data come this way and again enter the switching environment, what will happen? If STP is not running, then switch 1 will forward the data to switch 2, switch 2 will forward to switch 4, switch 4 will forward to switch 3, switch 3 will forward to switch 1. And the process will continue. So the data will endlessly travel inside the switching environment without going to the destination that is called loop. This basically hampers the normal operation of the network and consumes the bandwidth. So how does STP prevents looping? To prevent looping, what STP does, it elects one of the switch in the network as root bridge or root switch and it blocks some of the ports on some of the switches in the network to maintain only one primary path to reach to the root bridge by blocking all the alternate paths to reach to the root bridge that basically prevents looping so how does stp prevents looping let me show you that so here stp is running and faster than a 0 slash 2 port of switch 4 is right now in blocking mode because it's in amber color so let me show you stp in action so again pc sends some data to the ftp server so from PC, data will come to switch 4, switch 4 will forward to switch 3, switch 3 will forward to switch 1, which is our root bridge. Now instead of going this way, again data come this way and again enter the switching environment. So switch 1 will forward to switch 2 and switch 2 will forward to switch 4. But the data will not reach switch 4 because this faster than a 0 slash 2 port of switch 4 is right now in blocking mode. So this will break the loop here. Now let me show you that in action. So here right now I am connected to the FTP server 192.168.1.1 and let me download one file from the FTP server. So the path the data is taking is indicated by the blinking lights. So from the FTP server data comes to switch 1 and via this link data comes to switch 3 and via this link data comes to switch 4 and from switch 4 to the destination PC. Let me stop the file transfer. So here switch 1 is the root bridge and this is the link which is connecting the switch 1 and switch 3. Let me ping the FTP server with the 100 ping. So here our ping is successful to the FTP server. We are getting replies. Now, along with loop prevention, spanning tree protocol also finds out an alternate path in case of a link failure. Let me show you that. So here this link is basically connecting switch 1 and switch 3. Now, what will happen if I forcefully set down the Now if I forcefully shut down the faster than 0 slash 1 port of switch 1, so here the faster than 0 slash 1 port of switch 1 is shut down, is right now in red color. So our normal communication to the FTP server is interrupted. But this is temporary because spanning tree protocol will automatically find out an alternate path to reach to the root bridge. 
और स्विच वन एस टी पी कैन टेक अप टू फिफ्टी सेकेंड टू फाइंड आउट एन ऑल्टरनेट पाथ सो लेट्स वेट एंड वॉच So here, STP has find out an alternate path to reach to the FTP server, which is via switch one, two switch two, two switch four, and to the PC. So for STP, the convergence time is up to 50 seconds. That is almost one minute of time. So in critical network environment, it is a very big time. So to compensate this, Cisco has come with a new protocol called Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol. and as the name suggests it is rapid or very fast so it finds out an alternate path very fast i will show you that but before that let me again enable the fast ethernet 0/1 port of switch 1 and let me enable the rapid spanning tree protocol on this switch enable on switch 1 enable on switch 2 enable on switch 3 and enable on switch 4 so for the first time it may take little time to converge but after that it's very fast remember For rapid spanning tree protocol to work, all the switches in the network must run the same protocol. So now, rapid spanning tree protocol is enabled, and all the ports are up and running. Again, let me ping the FTP server. Our ping is successful, and we are getting a reply. Again, let me forcefully shut down the link. Fast Ethernet zero slash one. So here, the link is shut down and it's right now in red color. So our communication to the FTP server is temporarily blocked. But as you can see, but the rapid spanning tree protocol immediately finds out an alternate path to reach to the FTP server with one ping drop only. So it is very fast. Isn't it cool? So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like and share the video. That will really encourage me. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.